Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you will see more great videos like this. Today we are going to make the microwave for our kitchen. So we're going to start with a cube. And there we go. So our cube is going to be on the Y 0.49. On the X, it is going to be 0.38. And on the Z, it is going to be 0.28. And then we'll just go right on in. Okay. So this is our microwave. So what we're going to do first is a... Reset scale, do a loop cut, and bring it on over probably to about there. Okay, the next thing what we need to do is select this face and inset. This is obviously going to be the microwave bit. And then we're going to take that and extrude it on the X. So E on the X. To the back there like so next we're going to do is we're going to take this face and extrude it out so e on the x like so then we're going to take four vertices for the door we're going to shift the on the x and then fill or face and extrude on the X like so and then what we can do is just select everything on there press P because we want it to be its own thing and then we can just object set origin to geometry bring it on back in make sure it's the same depth as the microwave itself so this one we can probably just bring out a little bit more like that there we go right next what we're going to do is we're going to put some vents on the side here so let's just move that out the way and then we're going to go into edit we're going to do two four loop four loop cuts on here two three four we're going to bring these two scale on the x like so and then these two scale on the x it's going to bring them back in there and we're going to do some loop cuts here say five so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring them up like so like that and then just bring them down to the center now what we want to do is select the center edges and the same here okay oh hang on let's just do the one at a time one two three four five so we'll select the center edges and now we're going to press v on the y oh right so what you need to do so did you see how the vents were facing upwards? We need to take our cursor up to the top and then do V on the Y. Like so. That looks pretty cool. And then we do the same here. So cursor to the top, V on the Y. And then we've got our vents. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. 
Now we'll bring our door, control A, scale. What we want to do is go to edit, select faces. So we want to do hit number three, select that face, select that face and insert, inset. And then that's that, create a new material. I'm going to create two materials. One is going to be, our microwave is going to be dark. And then the window piece is going to be transparent. Um, transparent. Okay. And now we want to assign our transparent to the center there. And then hopefully in the, yeah, there we go. And then we can whack that back on there. Like so we can also get our material and give the microwave the same like that. Okay, I mean what you could do as well is just chuck a little little light in there if you wanted. Just put look a little spotlight in there. Um look an orangey glow. Let's move it to the center. Like that. Um, what we need to do now is create a cylinder. This is just going to be a basic, you can do your microwave however you like. Um, I'm just doing a basic one with two dials on it, so rotate Y90. Just take that in like that. So one's going to be the timer. We need to scale, oops, we need to scale shift X. So that's one dial. Shift duplicate on the Z. That's two dials. So mine's just a real basic one. You can have yours as complicated as you like. Um, we're also going to use this, Shift D on the Y. Rotate Y 90. Wow, what happened there? Shift D on the Y. Rotate Y 90. Scale. So this is just going to be the feet. Edit, go into the bottom one there, scale that down like that, and then just move it up a bit. And these are just going to be plunked on the bottom there. Like so. Let's just push it in a bit. Like that. So there's your little rubber feet. Duplicate on the X. And duplicate on the Y. So there's our rubber feet. And we just need a button actually. Let's just move these up. We're just going to chuck in a cube. Scale that down, scale that down. And this is just going to be a button that opens up the door there. So it's just going to be plonked on here, like so. Like there. So I'm just going to scale that up a little bit and then we're going to hit that 
modify boolean to get our button apply scale that down and there's our button so that is our microwave I mean obviously these ones you can just make as big as small as you like and there we go so I'm just going to open up another instance of Blender so now we've got our kitchen open we're going to control V to paste and wherever that may be oh it's down there there's our microwave maybe we could just chuck it in the corner there did we select all the um, feet yeah we did there's our microwave so we can just rotate maybe we should just get our little dude just move him out the way a bit and then find our I guess and that's all that and we could M um, new collection microwave like so oh, okay Oh, okay, it's got those in there as well. Okay, so we'll just select those. Bring them out. So for some reason that wasn't in there. So there we go, there's our microwave. I think we just need to select objects, raise it up. So at least we're on the counter. Um, bring it out of the wall otherwise it's not going to look very real I mean you can obviously put it wherever you like within your little kitchen and then we'll see how that looks 3, 2, 1 I mean obviously you can have your microwave whatever colour you want So there's our microwave. The buttons look a bit big, so I'll probably end up editing them. But for now, it's good enough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow along and uh, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Ta-da!